All right, today Evan and I are gonna race. We're gonna be running a race to see who can do a faster 100 yard dash. What do you feel about that? Good. Do you think you can beat me? Yeah. You think you can? Okay, well, we'll see. We'll see how good he does. to uh, the Giants facility. It's Saturday and I am just completing probably one of the, probably the busiest week of my life. Monday, trained chest and then at 7.30 p.m. I flew out of JFK to Reno, Nevada. Tuesday morning, I began filming my TV show. I had a 1 a.m. flight back to New York. So Wednesday, I trained and hit buys and tries and then that night, I went to John Starks. He had a charity event for his foundation. Thursday, trained and then that night, a celebrity poker tournament. See Webford, I'm here to have stuff up. Then Friday, Friday, I trained back at a monster back workout. And later that night, I was the MC for a really cool event called the Viennese Opera Ball. I was up this morning at 5 a.m. to train legs before I have to meet all my friends at Giant Stadium. And I know this is gonna be like an all day event. You know, every time I get tired and I'm like fatigued, my saying is ride the lightning. And then when I get home tonight, uh, I can't relax until the kids go to bed. I will never ever say I'm too tired because there's gonna come a time when my daughter's like, Daddy, I don't wanna play Barbies anymore. And then I miss those all those opportunities. So freaking screw being tired, screw being fatigued. I'm gonna ride the lightning one more day, 12 more hours, and then I'll tell you what, I am gonna hibernate tonight though. I'm getting like 12 hours of sleep. So it's family day here Sunday with Wendy and Fabiana. Apparently we're gonna be going, where are we going, Wendy? Tell me what, what I'm doing today, because I don't know. We are going to buy my baby and babies are us to return some stuff. Why are we returning things? Because they were gifts that we don't need and I don't want them in the house at the moment because we don't have the room. That's why. With your sour puss. You're a beat man, blah, 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 blah. You guys just missed that. Craig goes, you know your role, I'll know mine. So turn that thing around, just help out. I wake up, and then she gives me a say, you can be ready on time? Okay, I'm ready on time, for the most part. Um, Wait, excuse me, let's start over. Wake up at, what time did you wake up? Don't worry about what time Wait, I woke no, up. Wait, no, no, I wanna hear. What time did you wake up? 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, okay. Wendy woke up at 2.15 this morning to feed the baby, okay? Wendy then woke up at 5.30, had to pump, went to lay down, and the baby woke up again. So Wendy had to go feed the baby. So Wendy didn't go to bed until 7.30 in the morning while Prince Craig over here got to sleep. But yet he's waking up with a sour puss. Please. And then I said before we leave so I can finish getting the stuff together, would you like to feed your daughter for a couple minutes? No, you know your role, I'll know mine. She had just asked me, Please. just, to put these things in, in the, the car. car. I'm gonna do the task that was assigned oh to me God. first, and then we'll figure out what's left. <laughs> but don't say, hey, go take that shit to the car and then go feed the baby. What? Doesn't even make any sense. I cannot physically do these things. 
I'm going to do one thing at a time, and then I'll come back to figure out what needs to be done. I know my role. I work during the week, mentally exhausted. I come home. God forbid I want to sleep in on a Sunday. I never said you couldn't. Man. Who spit in his Cheerios this morning? Right? Say, who spit in daddy's Cheerios? And you guys say that women go through PMS? Please. <laughs> Please. You guys, men do too. Oh my God, it kills me. Happy Sunday. <laughs> So we're about 17 days away from our obstacle course thing that we're doing. Yeah, me, Rachel, uh, Eric, my mom. Um, but right now I am booking um, the hotel room for me and my mom. I was telling Rachel this weekend that my mom's pretty much been working out and we haven't. Um, we are not prepared. Uh, so we have about two weeks. I think this weekend I'm actually gonna go hiking again, even though I know I should be working on upper body stuff. Um, so I'll probably go to the gym too. Uh, there is a lot that I need to catch up on, on my plan. But yeah, I have a lot. Monday morning after a trip and this girl is tired. I'm like a walking zombie. I'm so tired. Um, but I'm just gonna roll with it. I'm the one always saying that I wanna do all these awesome things and so here we go. So today I have a shoot with BBCom uh, today and tomorrow for our clothing lookbook. Yeah, bring on the madness. We're getting ready to go. All right, so just checking in. It's late in the day. It's already 7.30. I haven't even been to the gym yet. Um, I just had a hell of a day. Super stressed today. Um, understatement. Understatement, Wendy just said in the background. Why was my day so stressful? So... I guess it's self-inflicted, but today I decided 100% that we're leaving. We had somebody come in and uh, you know appraise the apartment as far as what it's going to cost for moving. I estimated correctly, but it's just tough facing facts. You know what it's going to cost us to move. One big unknown: but the taxes. I don't know what the hell that's going to do. I screwed my books up really good this year, so there's a big you know question mark in what I owe. Another big stress of mine right now is 30 Days Volume 2 is coming out, and I have a really good idea of what what's going to go on. It's, it's called 75% complete, um, besides just the writing and everything else, but there's a few little hiccups as far as the plan goes, and I'm just trying to get it just right. It's just stressing me out because I'm running out of my 30 days time, which means that's 30 days out of my show, which if I want to make this thing legit, it's 30 days out tomorrow. So I have tonight to get my aha moment and start filming tomorrow. So hence, you can see my stress. That's it, that's part of it. There's there's obviously some other things going on, but uh, you know, I've been pain in the ass to Wendy today, kind of just, she's my she's been my sponge and I don't mean to be, and you know, I love her and I, I, I don't mean to treat her sometimes the way that I do, and you know, but she just takes the, the brunt of uh, my frustration and, sorry boo. Good morning. On my way to the gym here, we are, hang on here, I gotta drive. Just, it's dragging on. I mean, here we are, it's 6 a.m., it's night, it's dark out. It's like, it feels like this is never ending. Get on the scale today. No progress on the scale, but you know what? I really have just given up on that whole thing because I look great in the mirror. I mean, I look at myself in the mirror, I think, wow, you're looking really good. You know, on the scale, you'd think that I've been eating donuts and, you know, hamburgers and hot dogs and fries. Well, I, I did have a, some of that when I was traveling, but I mean, I think I'm looking pretty good for where I'm at and uh, no progress on the scale, 205. 
I think the lowest I got in this whole process was 204. So you know what? I'm just like giving up on the scale. And that is a lesson that I kind of, I'm learning in this process is <clears throat> that is a fool's errand. It is not your friend. It is your enemy. It will make you feel like you're a loser. Um, not a literal loser, but the mirror is your friend. The scale hides a lot of truth. The mirror doesn't. And you can really tell whether you're really making progress or not. So today is we're doing back and I'm excited because I feel ready to hit it. And I'm excited to see where I'm gonna be on on pull-ups because I've been working on those. I started out at what, three? Three pull-ups? So we'll see if we can get five or six today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be progress. See, I'm, I'm happy with that. So I will see you in there. All right, just got to the gym. I'm on a mission. Try to get these 19 inch arms. And typically when you're training, um, the big gains come at the beginning. So this last inch is gonna be tough, but I'm tougher than a $2 steak. So I'm gonna make this thing happen. I ain't afraid of no hard work. I'm trying to get these big, big, round, shredded arms. I don't want 19 inch arms and be fat. I want 19 inch arms with abs. We'll see you guys in there. checking in um yeah i'm looking a lot leaner probably than last time you guys saw me i'm down to 215 getting ready for this show and it's uh it's been a task i'm not gonna lie to you guys this one has not been easy chasing a number on the scales for the birds this is gonna be my last show unless i win this show and have to go to the olympia this is my last time on stage competing for subjectivity of uh of this i'm gonna start competing for performance I'm definitely looking forward to changing my game, my routines, and you know everything that I've been doing. I'm miserable, I'm not gonna lie. I'm completely miserable. It's taking away from my work. My calories are so low that I'm foggy during the day and I can't afford it. Fitness is supposed to be for everyone, you know, means to greater things. It means to, you know, new opportunity, better self-confidence. Well, then it needs to then help you, not hurt you. Um, and I feel like I'm just sacrificing more than I'm taking from the sport. So just kind of soul searching and putting things in perspective. It is so cold. It's freezing both. It's awfully quiet in here now. How do you guys feel that we're done? <laughs> Where did we just go, Rob? Tell us how you feel. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that, Speaking of where we just us. went. Man, I got this one for Aaron. Oh, that sprinkle one is gonna be for me later. So this cake one and this fritter is for After she's done fruit. posting on Transform for Life, she'll be. <laughs> oh, uh, Transform for what? Life, that's why we are happy and balanced. Yes, yes. exactly. And that's why you're able to have it go. <laughs> Okay, um, so I just went for a mile and a half walk slash run, and now I'm back home um, doing a couple of exercises on my own. I'm also starting like a 50 day, not 50 day, what the heck, uh, like a 30 day squat challenge. I don't know if I'm even doing it right. I'm trying to keep um, my knees and my feet aligned and keeping my eyes on the spot on the wall. Uh, okay super shaky and I feel like I heard my knee popping every time. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a wrap. We're done. I just got a good sweat. 35 to 45 minutes. Ready to rock. Time to fly. Oh. 
Okay, so we just landed in LA. Good thing about flying from San Jose to LA. Quick flight, hour. That stroller has to be folded up. No big thing. Okay, so you want to see what it's really like, the real truth about bodybuilding and the whole thing. So I just weighed in, I made the weight, boom. And so it's cool to get the sodium. I could have done it a lot better. I did actually salt my steak and had a good meal after potatoes and meal with salt, but I fucked it up and I put way too much salt on it. So I had to throw half of it away. Um, so another way to do that is go for the dirty cheat, fats and, and carbs, basically no protein really much in here. Hopefully it does what it says. It could have the chance of spilling over is what they call it. But, but I'm on a refeed. I just weighed myself like 203 and change. Um, I did bring a laxative just in case I can't get this stuff out of my stomach in the meantime. So that's the dirty truth about bodybuilding. Now you know. So lately I've been feeling really strong. And so I decided to go in and have my body fat composition taken again. And it had been quite a while. And it shows that I have lost just over 7, 54. It says that I've only lost seven pounds of fat, which I don't know about that. Um, lean muscle mass. It shows that I've lost lean muscle mass. This says that I really haven't made any progress at all. But if you look at me, I mean, I feel like I've made a ton of progress. So I think that I have to just take this worth a grain of salt. If I'm happy with my results so far, then I feel like that should be good enough. I'm not where I wanted to be by now, but I'm certainly not where I was. And I'm certainly um, happy that I've made some progress. So I feel good. I don't, I'm not, have not arrived by any means, but I definitely have made progress. All right, so uh, just finished doing the fundraiser uh, for the Holy Trinity School. Um, Hoops and Dreams 2016 and now I uh, got out of there about 15 minutes late I got out of there at 5.15 and my son has a game at 6 o'clock only to check my phone when I figured when I finished up that oh yeah by the way my wife read the time wrong and his game's at 5.30 and I'm 45 minutes away so now currently I'm about uh, 11 miles away the game started 14 minutes ago and it's the championship game I'm irritated, I'm a little pissed off, because uh, that's like my favorite thing to do, is to watch my son play basketball. I try not to screw up anything on my schedule, because um, it's incredibly important for me to be on time and not miss anything, but she's got to do herself and four kids. She read the time wrong on the basketball game, but at least she's gonna get him there on time, because that would be like a real bummer. I am driving Probably not really uh, within the regulations of the law right now. I'm driving pretty fast and I'm recording right now, so there's never a dull moment in my life. Uh, but I'm thankful, man. I love I love the chaos. Hopefully he gets the win and everybody's happy after the game anyway. So I'm gonna put this camera down before I get in a wreck, but uh, see you guys soon. All right, guys, we're over here at uh, Metroflex uh, Gym, Long Beach, California. We're gonna be shooting with Iron Man Magazine, doing some um, probably full body stuff. Take advantage while I'm in shape after my show, Classic Physique debut. I'm gonna go pump it up and uh, put a day two in the books here. We got some good shots, got some good video reels and uh, different things. When you're a uh, day out of the show, you're looking pretty good. Muscles are getting filled back up with glycogen and water. Got a decent tan on too from the uh, post-show color, so everything pops pretty well. I like to tag team efforts. If I do a show, I like to do a shoot, just so um, you know it's fruitful at the end. Dude, you are a champion. What's it feel like? Championship awesome. game. How many points did you have? Six. Six points, all in the first half. Yeah. Great job. Did you get some rebounds? Yeah. But most importantly, what's most important? Put a lot of effort. You had you had effort? Yeah. And what else? Um Were you a good leader? Yeah. Good man. Proud of you. Team Weatherford, dude. We just bring championships home, right? Yeah. We got like a we got like a trophy trophy case just busting at the seams. Mm hmm That's my boy. Are you gonna add to the trophy case? Yeah. Man, I love you. 
<laughs> What's up everyone? I'm still so tired, but I'm coming back to life. Um, shoots are done. It's the last week of the transformation. So trying to kick some butt. Well, I'm saying it's week 11. I have one more week technically. But yeah, I'm just so tired, so over everything and just really want some sleep. So pray for me. <laughs> All right, so we're back on this camera. We're back home. It is the day after I got back from LA, but we're back on camera. So now the stress has been lifted. Can you see the fucking smile on my face? I feel like a new man, man. It's awesome. I just woke up and was like, woosa. But uh, I feel like a million bucks. It's 10 o'clock right now, 10 p.m., mind you. I'm going to the gym. I'm gonna fucking kick ass at the gym right now. All the little things in my life that are taking up some of my time are leaving, and I get to focus my energy. It's freaking awesome. It's gonna be so good. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna, I'm gonna feel really good about myself in a couple weeks here when it's all streamlined and I just focus on a few things. It's awesome, awesome. So we're at the track. Um, my plan today, um, my goal was to see what my fastest mile could be. I think my my last fastest mile I ever ran was, I believe, back in 2002. And that was maybe 12 minutes um, or over 12 minutes. So today I wanted to push myself and I'm not even wearing the right running shoes. With that pain, my mile today was nine minutes and 47 seconds. That's like, I, I shocked myself. I was thinking I was gonna get 10 something. Um, so doing it under 10 is nuts. I'll be honest, I feel like throwing up. During my run, it wasn't, I don't know, it wasn't, it wasn't easy cause not just like the physical stuff of my, my shins hurting and not being able to breathe <laughs> or trying to, I'm still trying to figure out the correct breathing. Um, so like my chest hurt and then I think I was <laughs> like, you know, spit was getting blocked up and I couldn't breathe because of that too. And I felt like I was choking. And while that was happening, I was kind of thinking of some stuff I was thinking last night. Um, and I, I feel like my journey has been going pretty good and there's a lot of positive coming out of it. But last night when I was looking through some some stuff that I filmed and I looked at when my mom was measuring me, um, you know, when I was filming it, it was fine. Uh, and I know like I'm changing. Seeing me in a tank top kind of made me, you know, normally I don't hate myself because of the way I look, um, <clears throat> but I don't know, I just, I really felt disgusted with myself. So all those, all those, um, I guess, images of myself was coming out in my run. And like music wasn't helping trying to, um, cause when I go running, I can, you know, push out every thought and you just focus on running. And to, like today, I felt like everything came piling, piling on me. And I know I have to just, <laughs> Stop crying. I just know that I can't, I can't give up. And this is just one, this is just one part of my life. And in like five, 10 years, you know, I'm not like, I know I'm not gonna be the same and look back on it and just, I don't know, I just have to get, get over this portion. <laughs> of my life. This week, this guy's leaving me, going to Tennessee. Hopefully it's not for good though. Heading to Modesto to meet up with my mom, pick up Kiana, and then we're gonna head out. I feel like I looked way better like weeks ago. That's okay, it's not the point. The point is to finish completely. I need to get the pump of my life right now. I just don't want my son to see me as an old dad. 